Truman, you love pike fishing just like I do. And I know one of your favorite ways of fishing for pike is with the jerk baits. What is it that you're so crazy? Oh, fish! I missed one. Oh, this is what I, why I love it. You love it. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I think it's the the one of the best way to catch pike, and also it's up to you, like a fisherman, to 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 move the actually the jerk bait, the the lure. And work so it. yeah, work it. So it's uh, be so attract attractive for 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 the pike yeah. as possible. The satisfaction is that much bigger when when you catch a fish because you had something to do with it. It was your style of working the bait that made the bait, the fish strike. Yeah. And also, most of the time you're fishing quite shallow, so you can actually see the fish hitting the lure. I love having the fish follow up to the boat and you see it and then you work your lure a little bit and then suddenly the fish shoots out and grabs the lure. Yeah. And you have uh, all kinds uh, of types of jerk bait, from small one to, to quite big ones. and, and uh, small tiny movements to very wide movements it's up to up, up to the situation what what lure you should use you know the, mo the, the most common common jerk baits here uh, that that i use is uh, it's a glider you know, you know uh, uh, back and forth back and forth like that and actually most of the time it's working very very good it's especially in spring winter and and, and uh, and autumn, mm -hmm. uh, when the water is a little bit colder, to push and move the jerk bait so it looks like a wounded fish or something. And that's very effective, both on shallows and, and, and uh, deep water. And what about all the different types of lures that, that there are? I mean, jerk baits are range yeah, yeah. in size the, the, the and most... weight, and, and, and uh, there's a huge, varied thing. It's a, it's a lot more than just fishing gliders. Yeah. You have pool baits. It's more effective when the temperature is, uh, gets a little bit higher for late spring, summer and so on. When you, when you pull the rod, actually, it's, it's going down and, and floating up and going down. And you can have some pool baits fishing three, four meters. It's really, really good. And then you have jerk bait with a tail that you uh, actually you can take it just straight like that. And the, the, it's, it's going like that and you have the rubber tail in, in the back mm -hmm. or you can jerk it with gentle <laughs> like that. Oh, fish! <sighs> really strong fish. It's a nice one. Uh, very nice. Truman, you've been fishing jerkbait for what, almost 15 years and really have a handle on, on how to work them through the water. Try to explain a little bit about the different ways that you put the lure movements into the lure by moving the rod and, uh, and using the reel. You know, and it's very important, just don't take it back and forth like this. Uh, you know, take a couple of turns with your handle get a stop and so on, so, the, so, so actually the jerk bait looks like a wounded fish or something, that, then the, you're gonna have more strike. Yep. One of the things that I liked right when I started jerk baiting was using the real shallow lures in the bright colors and fishing clear waters, because you could really see the bait movement, and then you learned how the different rod movements, what that meant for the bait, so that once you went to fishing with the baits deeper or fishing in more murky water, you still sort of knew what you were doing yeah, and, and, and knew what the bait was doing below yeah. the surface. You don't need to, to push the rod too, too much. If you have tight line to the lure, just do like this, gentle, and, and uh, straight line to, to the lure. And if, you know, and don't do like this, monotone, it's better, one, two, Stop, one, two, three, stop, maybe a couple of turns like that. And, and when you do like this and stop, the, the jerk bait goes out and just hang there. Yeah. And then when the, if you have a fish follow the, the jerk bait, most of the time it's gonna strike. Yep. 
I think that's one of the things that's so effective about the jerk bait is those spin stops. And if you're fishing a regular wobbler or a spoon or something like that, the fish, and you do a spin stop, the fish is going to see the back end of the lure. Yeah. But with the jerk bait, instead of this, it's going to turn, and you're going to have the whole profile of the lure right in front of the fish. Yeah. And sometimes that just makes them go crazy. Yeah. You know, fishing, you're learning all the time. And um, sometimes you must push the, the like, like the big bandit, quiet. You push it and it goes very, very wide. And, and uh, even when, when the fish is quite slow, you, you can actually trick them to, to, to bite a, a very aggressive jerk bait. It's just instinct. They can't leave it alone yeah. sometimes, I think. What about on days when the fish don't want those big movements? When they're, when they're just a little bit more slow and they just kind of follow the baits when they don't bite? Yeah, you, you, you can actually just wave it in a little bit and a couple of turns, take it very, very slow, a couple of turns like that. That's, that's why I like jerk bait fishing because you have so many ways to fish the lure. Yep. Most, most people that I talk with, they think that jerkbait is for, for only shallow waters, but actually you can fish effective with a jerkbait on quite deep water, yep. near to five meters, no problem. It's, it's just to, to have a sinking version, you can put some lead on it, and, and uh, you can do lots of things. And that's what I like jerkbait fishing, because you can fish in the archipelago, in brackish water, you can fish in a river, you can fish in a, in a lake. Everywhere. Yep.